Before jumping on to today's math lesson, let's refresh our memories of our family trip to Murray. We all have enjoyed snowfall. Remember the snowball fight with your siblings? And dad did mention the science behind the snowfall. When temperature falls beneath zero, raindrops freezes to form snow. So what does temperature falls beneath zero mean? This is Antarctica, the coldest continent on earth. Here the temperature ranges from 5 degrees Celsius in summer to minus 80 degrees Celsius in winter. The highest temperature ever recorded in Antarctica was 15 degrees Celsius above 0 degrees Celsius on 5th January 1974. And the lowest temperature ever recorded in Antarctica was 89.2 degrees Celsius below 0 degrees Celsius on 21st July 1983. So what does this temperature above and below 0 degrees Celsius mean? We are going to see in this chapter. By the end of the lesson, you will be able to define integers, use negative numbers in practical situations, represent numbers on a number line, and order numbers. Let's recap classification of numbers studied in Chapter 1 and previous classes. Natural numbers, also known as counting numbers, start from 1. So 1, 2, 3, and so on. The three dots represent continuity of numbers. If we include zero, natural numbers become whole numbers. Fractions represent a part of a whole. For example, half of a cake is 1 by 2. Decimals is just another way of writing fractions, such that whole and fractional part is separated by a dot, known as decimal point. For example, 0 0.5 or 1.5. Note that all these numbers are either greater than zero or equal to zero. So now we can define positive numbers, the numbers greater than zero. For example, 0 0.5, 1, 1 1.5, 2, 3, 4, and so on. In real world, we encounter numbers less than zero as well. We call them negative numbers. For example, negative 4, negative 3.6, negative 2, negative 1, negative 1 by 2. Remember the lowest temperature in Antarctica was 89.2 degrees Celsius below 0 degrees Celsius, which means negative 89.2 degrees Celsius. Note that 0 is neither positive nor negative. If we exclude fractions and decimals from numbers, we get integers. So here, removing 0 0.5 and 1.5 turns positive numbers into positive integers. Similarly, removing negative 3.6 and negative 1 by 2 from negative numbers gives us negative integers. In short, positive integers are whole numbers greater than 0 and negative integers are whole numbers less than 0. Remember that fractions and decimals are not allowed. Integers in general is collection of 0, positive integers and negative integers. This is known as the number line, which we will discuss shortly. Let's solve question number 1 of practice now given on textbook page number 27. We are given some numbers and we have to identify their type. Negative 5. Negative sign with the number indicates it is a negative number. And since negative 5 is neither fraction nor decimal, so it is also a negative integer. 2013. No sign with the number indicates it is a positive number. And since 2013 is neither a fraction nor a decimal, so it is also a positive integer. 0. 0 is neither positive nor negative, so it stays here. Negative 1 by 2. Negative sign indicates that the number is negative, and since it is a fraction, it won't be an integer. So negative 1 by 2 is a negative number, but not a negative integer. 1.666. No sign indicates the number is positive, but since it is a decimal, so it ain't an integer. Hence, 1.666 is a positive number. I hope it is clear. Let's do the remaining ones quickly. 3 by 4 is a positive number. Negative 3.8 is a negative number. Negative 2 by 3 is a negative number. 
6 is a positive number and a positive integer. Negative 17 is a negative number and a negative integer. The concept of integers, positive numbers and negative numbers is widely used in daily life. Some of the words that represent positive numbers are above, up, forward, deposit, gain, win, earn, increase, more, clockwise. Corresponding words representing negative numbers are below, down, backward, withdrawal, loss, decrease, less, anti-clockwise. For example, if you submit money in bank, you deposit, your bank balance will increase, positive. And if you withdraw money, your bank balance will decrease, negative. Let's look at one part of question number 2 of practice now given on textbook page number 27. A company suffers a loss or a deficit of $10,000 in the year 2013. Represent this loss using a negative number. As we can see, the word loss or deficit is a negative word. So it can be mathematically written as negative dollar ten thousand. Now try the remaining parts of the practice now yourself. Back to number line. The numbers on a number line are equally spaced. On the right of zero, we have positive numbers, while on the left are negative numbers. The arrows at both the ends indicate that the numbers and hence the line continues forever in both left and right direction. On a number line, the number increases from left to right. For example, 6 is greater than 2. As we move from left to right, 2 is smaller number and 6 is greater number. Similarly, if we compare minus 6 and minus 2, Moving from left to right, minus 6 comes first. So minus 6 is a smaller number and minus 2 is a greater number. So a number on the left is less than a number on the right. Let's look at question number 1 of practice now given on textbook page number 30. We have to fill in the box with greater than or less than sign. If you struggle with remembering that which sign stands for greater than and which sign stands for less than, there is an easy way to remember it. Less starts with L. If you take the first letter L of less and tilt it, you get the symbol of less than. So the other symbol is the symbol of greater than. Let's look at A part, minus 3 and minus 5. Minus 3 is here and minus 5 is here. Going from left to right, we see that minus 5 comes first. So minus 5 is a smaller number as compared to minus 3. So minus 3 is greater than minus 5. B part, minus 7 and minus 2. Minus 7 is here and minus 2 is here. And since minus 7 comes first, it is smaller. So minus 7 is smaller than minus 2. Part number C, 4 and minus 4. Minus 4 is here and 4 is here. Since minus 4 comes first, it is smaller. Hence, 4 is greater than minus 4. And lastly, minus 6 and minus 100. Now, we don't see minus 100 on the number line, but we can estimate minus 100 would be somewhere here. And minus 6 is here. So minus 100 is a smaller number and minus 6 is a greater number. So minus 6 is greater than minus 100. In question number 2 of practice now, given on textbook page number 30, we have to use dot to represent each of the following numbers on the number line below. Hence, arrange the numbers in ascending order that is from the smallest to the greatest. Now starting with the first number, minus 5. Minus 5 is here, so we place a dot to represent this number on the number line. 4 is here, so we put a dot over here. 0, this one, so we put a dot here. Negative 1 whole 1 by 2 
means minus 1.5. So minus 1.5 would be in the center of minus 1 and minus 2. Here. 1.666 would be somewhere around 1.5 that is between 1 and 2. Negative 3.8 would be near negative 4. And 3 by 4 which means 0 0.75 would be between 0 and 1 but more towards 1. So now we can write the numbers in ascending order from smallest to greatest. The smallest number is negative 5. Then we have negative 3.8, negative 1 whole 1 by 2, 0, 3 by 4, 1.666 and 4. Now you should be able to solve the following task of your assignment independently. Exercise 2a, question number 3, part a and c, question number 4, part b and d, question number 5, part a and b, question number 7, parts a and d, and question number 8, part C and D. Exercise 2B has been covered in the second video. Best of luck for your assignment.